All right. It's early morning. A cool August morning. Very cool. It's uh, about 17 degrees. We had a actually it's 15 degrees. We had a storm uh, roll through here tonight. Last night. This weekend. Whatever. I'm gonna go pick up Demisha. We're gonna go hang out with Andrew Orlando and his team at Ontario Streams. We're gonna go see their um, offices, and then we're gonna go do some uh, stream analysis with them. Ontario Streams is all about reintroducing and uh, protecting native species, which is really awesome. We've been working with them for uh, this year. And so we're gonna see today what it's like to be in the field with Ontario Streams. It's gonna be a fun day. And I'm gonna get some Tim Hortons, okay? Okay, okay, okay. Anyway, day tripping, here we go. All right, we're out here. We are out here at the MNR with Demisha. Good morning. Emmy. Yay. There's Andrew. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> Hi, Andrew. <laughs> morning, morning. How's it going? Nice to see you guys. Glad you could make you. it. Yeah. Um, yeah, welcome, welcome. Hopefully uh, we have a good day today. Hopefully the river's good. Um, it's summer apparently, but it doesn't Feel Look like it. Feel in another like country it. somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But that's okay. We'll still have a uh, still have a great day, and uh, and yeah, we're just getting packed up. Sure. Uh, shouldn't be too much too much more. Hello, I'm Eli. I'm a project technician here at Ontario Streams. So I get involved in a lot of executing our projects and a little bit into planning it over the winter. And my favorite things are our frog projects as well as all of our outreach stuff. So yeah. I love it here. Oh. I'm Kat and I'm the Outreach and Communications Coordinator with Ontario Streams and I manage all of our outreach programs which include school groups, community groups, corporate teams who join us to, on all of our different stewardship work. So sometimes we're planting trees, removing invasive species, all kinds of work that we get our community members involved with so that they can learn more about their local community, their local habitats and then take action. I would say one of my favorite projects that we do is the Atlantic Salmon program, where we raise Atlantic salmon in classrooms with students. They get a chance to see fish, connect with fish that they would probably not get to interact with otherwise. And then we take them out into the Humber River and release them with the students. So again, they're getting that opportunity to connect with their local waterways. Hi there. <laughs> uh, I'm Andrew. I'm a project biologist with Ontario Streams. Uh, I do uh, duties as assigned. Um, a lot of project planning, project implementation. I take care of our greenhouse here for all of our wonderful tree planting that we do across the GTA. Um, more recently, I have been uh, operating our Atlantic Salmon program, uh, as well as a little bit of our stuff in the Upper Humber River watershed to do with uh, brook trout rehabilitation and uh, other habitat improvements across the board. Uh, whew, my favorite thing here would uh, everything fish related. Um, our brook trout stuff, our Atlantic salmon stuff, more recently our so fly outreach stuff. Hey. <laughs> uh, it's been an absolute blast uh, being a big fish head, you know, it's, it's all I could ever wish for. Ooh. Whoa! Fancy, fancy. It's the bat cave, it's the fish cave. There, nets, buckets. We have a tent. We have a backpack. We have a battery, anode, cathode, bucket of nets, bucket of yeah. We have that that bin with all the measuring things in it and all that. Scale is in there. Okay, take two. Um, take two. Yeah. So we tried to uh, do a sampling last week with Ontario Streams, uh, but the river was blown, so it's just hard to get a good sampling uh, of trout when the river's muddy. The temps were great, and uh, so unfortunately, uh, you know, we weren't able to sample because everything was awesome, but, um, but you know, that's okay, no problem. We're gonna give it another go today. So, you know, off to pick up Demisha once again and uh, meet Andrew and his team, and we'll, uh, we'll take it from there. We'll take it from there.
Okay. Looking better than last week. Sure is. Looking better than last week. Very nice, very, very nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're gonna get ready and check out the stream and see what's see what's popping. Get see what's popping. Get some get some dry fly action going, you know? It's what's gonna happen here. Josh, you bring the hoppers? Yes I did. Um, it's a beautiful day. We're down here in the Humber River watershed at an undisclosed location. Um, <laughs> top secret. <laughs> top secret, undisclosed. Um, so yeah, I guess we're we're uh, we're about ready. I I did bring my stuff, but I'll let you guys have most of the fun in the morning. You should definitely fish. fish. Oh, I mean, I I wanna I wanna see what you guys can turn up first. One thing, I I, I will say, um, as we're angling this morning, um, we're very much expecting brown trout and rainbow trout. Um, however, um, if you do catch a brookie or uh, an Atlantic salmon, mm -hmm. um, please, 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 please give us a, a hoot and holler because um, that is what we're here looking for today, even with our electro fishing survey. Um, this is one of our sites that uh, we have been uh, stocking Atlantic salmon for quite a few years now. Uh, year after year, we have actually been recapturing the, the fish that we've been stocking. And uh, the very purpose of our electrofishing survey today is to evaluate the effectiveness of our stocking program. Look at that bow and arrow. Boink! What's gonna happen here? If it don't happen here, it's not happening today, is it? I have an experience But yeah, seriously. Yes! <laughs> Beauty. Oh, now you're gonna scare the fish out of that area. Oh. Yes! Little Bobo. Little, Little Rainbow. It's a Bobo. Little Bobo. What are we doing right now? I think it's a little bit of uh, gonna get electric, gonna get what is it? What's electro fishing? It? No, it's like, yeah, electro fishing. I was trying to do an electric. We we're gonna do an electric slide down to the other side of the river. <laughs> oh, yeah. you can do whatever the hell you want. Oh, this is the anode. So this is the uh, positive end, um, the positive end of this uh, whole uh, contraption. So this ring goes into the water, puts out the electric field. And it attracts the fish into it, and it's just wired to the uh, to hardwired to the backpack. And then the cathode is what we call the rat tail. If it gets dragged behind you, okay, looks like a rat tail, and that's the negative part of the the system. No, on, on most we if it's somewhat in the way, we'll we'll move it out of the way with our nets. Um, while we do have these very uh, thick protective gloves, um, the the goal is to not ever put your hands in the water. Um, you know, everything with health and safety is you want to have at least two barriers. What we can do is we can look back last year or the years, pre previous years, and see what the settings were on the backpack. Got and it. So now instead of fumbling around trying to get the starting point, we have a starting point. We knew that this is what we like to fish last time, where it worked well, so that's where we're going to start this time. We can chalk, we'll catch fish, we'll watch it for a minute, make sure it recovers well, that it's not being harmed and then we're, we're good to go, we'll reduce it, or if we're not turning fish, we'll turn it up a bit from that point. I must say those look absolutely fabulous on yeah. you. Very flexible. <laughs> I want to see you put these gloves on, that's, that's what I'm trying to see. Like <laughs> Stick them under the water, like kind of up to your elbows, basically. <laughs> like we said, we're not, we're not going to be touching the water. <laughs> well, that's the goal anyway. But uh, even still, Got to make sure our gloves are, are uh, waterproof. Yeah. Not today? No, no, no. Beautiful. Please. <laughs> Josh, he stoked you. <laughs> 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 Josh, you got to get 
Okay, testing. Ghostbusters. Okay, we just turned the crayfish. And another, there was a small bait there fish. There was a small bait fish there. There's fish, grab him. That quickly? Okay, and can you put him in the bucket for me? Yep. There's a fish in there, right? Yeah, there's a fish. Bigger streamers in a small creek. There is, there is bigger food forms. Um, I'm not great with my crayfish, um, but I believe this is what's called a big water crayfish, um, which is a little bit of a weird thing to see. It's huge. Here. It is, yeah. It's testing again. But crayfish well, are kind of just. Okay, he recovered really quick. Watch for it. Slow enunciator, but. Yeah, it turns it down a lot. It's yeah. okay, to uh, 200 and uh, more than that 30. Okay, let's get him in the bucket. What is it? Days. Days. Long nose days. Long nose days. Okay, so our settings are good now. Oh, okay. That was just dialing in the settings? That was just yeah. dialing in the settings. So, the first one got hit and he's recovered. The first one. Yeah, he, even the he, first guy. he recovered, but he got hit really hard. So he turned the settings down just a bit, and now we're still turning fish, but they're recovering immediately. So that's perfect. Josh, see, I'm right behind him. It's just crazy how many sculp in there. I mean, it really shows you just why streamers work so well. It's so crazy. Like, you just don't. <laughs> Them. Like the sculpins? And then also, yeah, and then all of a sudden they're just there. Yeah. yeah guys, in that 30 seconds, I got three sculpins. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Don't worry, Josh, it's meant to be stressful. <laughs> 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 if it's not stressful, you're not doing it right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, this is where it's going to get real. Get me excited. Can't help but look. Looks good. Oh, oh! You didn't even turn. Didn't even turn. Big water. Was it a big fish? Yeah. It was a, it was a salmonid. That's that's all we can tell you. That's for sure. Yeah. Oh, there's one. Watch your hands. It's <laughs> <laughs> really actually short? quite funny. It's almost a little bit of hilarity going on. Mm. Mm. Oh, there's one. one. Oh, that's a salmonid. Watch your hands. They keep yelling at you. I know. Even if they don't go in, I'm gonna yell. Because <laughs> it's close. Oh, oh, yes, oh, Andrew! Nice. Right, up, up. Oh, oh, nice! Hey, hey, hey Josh! Hey, 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 hey. Josh, that's probably the brownie that swiped your streamer earlier. Got him! <laughs> Got him! Fish on! Close ones are always the hardest. That, that wasn't a landing. That wasn't a landing. Oh, nice brownie! Wow. Dude! Oh, that's a big job, right? Josh! So your, your, your angling was a little inefficient today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the commentary, the live, the live commentary about how well they're adjusted in the system. And I mean, it's like kind of like, you know, you did all this hard work and now you get to see like the product of your hard yeah. work. Like, it's pretty cool. No, it's so interesting, like getting to put these like little tiny fish into the stream and seeing them grow and evolve. And be a whole fish. Yeah. Bucket. So, we kind of go through just IDing them. Okay. Um, this is exciting. I know. Ooh, that one's. Oh, okay. A sucker. So I have a sucker. Wow. Let's put him into different pockets. Oh, that brown is beautiful. Yeah. No, they're wow. Now. Oh my god. Look at that. We're gonna get them right in there. Okay, getting them all into their little homes. Temporary aerated homes, white sucker, brown trout, eight million sculpins. <laughs> the pack. So now we process them, which means we just measure and weigh them so we can kind of understand what's growing, what is successful in the stream. Um, and then once we measure it all and record everything, we release it back to the stream so they can ha live their happy lives. Um, and we try to place them in places we, where we capture them so they are going back to their homes. And yeah, 
So those brown trout are just waiting for that sculpin bucket to get dumped. <laughs> like <They're> dinner. Like, <laughs> right winner, here. winner, fish for dinner. Yeah. Water's so cold. I stuck my hand in the bucket. It's so cold. It's so cool. Look at that guy, so, Josh. Look at that guy. Twelve incher. Missed it. You said there was a bigger one. Yeah. Yeah, there's a bigger one. They missed. There's a bigger one. Missed, missed that oh, yeah. too. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the amount of sculpins is insane. I know. It's I started like, why tie I anything started tying, else? I started tying a sculpin fly. And like, yes, absolutely. Look at these things. I think it's so interesting to see what fish are in each of these different habitats. So often we're working in urban rivers and people will walk by and be like, are there even any fish in here? And we say yes. <laughs> That's right. why we're here. That's why we're doing this kind of work to help restore these habitats because there's so many fish in our urban areas. <laughs> Just the littlest baby. <laughs> and these are the days that you're you're measuring. Northern red belly days. Yes. Northern red belly days. Yes. Oh, that's wrong math. Eighty-seven. Eighty-seven fish. Fish caught. Fishes caught. Fishes. <laughs> Eighty-seven Good fishes. Day. What a beautiful day. Yeah. Beautiful day. Yeah. Good survey. Some some nice diversity. Yeah. We caught our our at least one of our target fish. Um, but we saw a few more uh, on the stream that we I didn't mean, catch of our Atlantic yeah. salmon. Year round fish. Uh, no brook trout this months, year months, yet, like, but you know, oh, it's yeah. old springs eternal. Yeah, you never know. You know. Um, let's get this last bucket in the yeah, water. Right. Yeah, let's get these fish um, turned. We'll get them back to their homes. Hey! Come here, guys. Wow, what a fun day. So fun. Spectacular, <laughs> actually. I uh, could never imagine uh, a better way to spend the day. Yeah, it was so fun. This is a really natural camera angle too. You know? yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's not stage or anything. No. Uh, great day with Ontario Streams. Uh, you know, I hope everybody enjoyed this video. Um, Josh, had nice. a great time. Learned so Good much. Job. Nice These netting. Guys are really nice. Yeah. Nice netting. D. That was amazing. Fish the, I think you're top rod today. Why? Thank you. Thank you very much. Like biggest fish? Most fish. Most fish. Biggest fish. I'll take that. <laughs> All bows. <laughs> Let's get some ice cream. Yeah. Yeah. I'm about it. <laughs> Naturals. Naturals. <laughs>